The Los Angeles Lakers and Brooklyn Nets faced off against each other for the second time this preseason. The Nets came to the matchup 2-0, whereas the Lakers came into the matchup 1-1. Uh, Anthony Davis left the game in the first quarter with a sprained thumb. Uh, the severity of this injury is not yet known. They haven't publicly released anything yet. I am filming this 10 minutes after the uh, after the game finished. So uh, he did leave the game a bit early. Uh, now LeBron and Davis played pretty bad. They only totaled 12 combined points between the two of them, and they both shot 29% from the field, both shooting two of seven. Uh, now, the first quarter was back and forth. However, Brooklyn took over late in the second quarter and never looked back, scoring 27 points to the Lakers' 17. Uh, now, Anthony Davis, uh, obviously that injury, that might be able to hold him back a little bit. Um, once again, we don't know the severity. Uh, hopefully, it's not too bad. I it is pretty exciting. You know, this team, the, the season starts in just over a week, uh, so hopefully, he will be back in time for the season opener against the Clippers. Uh, but Avery Bradley top scored for the Lakers with 14 points, with Caldwell Pope coming in second with 11. Uh, now, Karis Levert for the Nets, he led all scorers with 22 points on 73% shooting. He also had four rebounds, five assists, and three steals to go along with his effort tonight. Uh, now, DeAndre Jordan dominated on the boards as usual, pulling in 11 boards in 19 minutes. Uh, Torian Prince played well as well uh, with 14 of his own points and 4 rebounds on 56% shooting. Uh, now the most significant difference between these teams was their 3 point shooting. The Lakers finished 5 of 32 from the 3 point arc resulting in a 16% percentage from the 3 point line. Uh, now compared to the Nets who shot 13 of 35 which is, results in a 37% 3 point percentage. Uh, the Brooklyn Nets were too good in the end uh, for this preseason matchup against the Lakers taking it out 91 to 77.